stay on. Uh, we'll uh, quickly get into a corporate conversation and come right back to you. Five Star Business Finance is the first corporate on our radar today. Novama has initiated coverage on the stock with a buy rating and a target of 710. Novama is expecting assets under management uh, to grow at a compounding rate of 30% uh, over the next couple of years, right up to FY25, and a pretty high ROA of 8%. Lakshapati uh, Deen Dayalan, Chairman and MD at Five Star uh, Business Finance, is with us. Mr. Deen Dayalan, thanks very much for joining in. So give us some idea about how your business has shaped up in the fourth quarter because what we saw in the third quarter was that your disbursements were growing pretty well year on year and quarter on quarter. But I think there was something with the new RBI rules in terms of uh, NPA recognition, which is why sequentially your NPAs were also rising. Uh, are, are these trends still continuing in the fourth quarter? How is it different? Yeah, uh, thank you for having Five Star here. Um, I think the fourth quarter, uh, uh, two, uh, two full months have gone. I think uh, uh, it shows very strong uh, uh, business growth, both in disbursement and uh, uh, logins. We are seeing one of the best quarters. Um, the outcome, I think March month, March quarter will be the, the best among the best of five star. So we'll wait for the quarter to end, uh, but the guidance can be, will be one of the best quarters for five star. On the RBI regulation, yes, uh, from October 1st onwards, the new RBI circular, which got uh, kicked in, uh, which uh, differentiates the 90 plus and uh, technical NPA, uh, or the terminology of NPA is just changed. Mm -hmm. uh, from a 90 plus perspective, uh, we are at 1.16% in December. And uh, from RBI uh, technical NPA, uh, we are at 1.45%. Uh, there is a divergence, I mean, a dichotomy of close to 0.29% between 90 plus and NPA, uh, which I think it is one among the lowest in the market uh, when we switch over from 90 plus to NPA, new terminology. I think that will continue, but the guidance what we have given to the market is the 90 plus and NPA, the difference will be 0.75 to 100 bips. That's the okay. guidance what we are saying. Uh, I think it will be well below that uh, guidance as we move hmm. towards. Okay, all right. Uh, good morning, sir. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, let's uh, get a couple of numbers since uh, we're a little bit short on time. AUM growth, uh, Novoma, they are factoring in close to 30% growth for the next few years. Is that gettable? Uh, for sure, it is doable. Uh, I think that's where uh, we, st we strongly uh, say. All right. So we've got that out of the way. What about return ratios? They are working with the ROAs of close to around 8% and ROEs at around 17% in the next couple of years. You can get both those ratios as well? No, I think there will be some uh, drop in ROA because the okay. leverage will start uh, kicking in. I think in last show also, I clearly said the game plan for Five Star is moving from ROA to ROE, return to mm. shareholders. That will move from current 15% to the numbers what you uh, mentioned. Uh, but there will be a drop in ROA. Our steady state guidance, what we give to the market, is around 6% ROA in steady state in next uh, a short and medium term. Okay, so there will be a drop in the ROA and the steady state will be 6%. Now, you know, the one thing that the street likes and what Novama also mentions in its report is that the low gross NPAs is something that's very comforting up until now. But given that we have higher interest rates, given that, you know, consumers' pockets are getting pinched because of inflation, do you at some point see um, a rise in loan defaults in repayments? And do you think that could put pressure on the asset quality in the near, near to medium term? So as I speak today, I don't see any uh, inflation pressure or a rising interest rate scenario to uh, uh, my set of customers. I'm talking on behalf of five-star customers who lend to single and short, uh, small shopkeepers and self employed of this country. Uh, where without them, any common man's day-to-day -day activity cannot be run through. So they're in very high demand. I don't think this inflation and rate hike is going to dent them in a big way. Having said that, uh, even in last show, I explained uh, Five Star is positioned in a very, very sweet spot when a liability uh, franchise uh, 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 position. So our pricing is coming down. We were borrowing close to 11-12%, 24 months down the line. Now we are borrowing at uh, 9%. And uh, uh, cost of fund in our book is around 10.25 to 10.35 in December quarter. So if my incremental borrowing, say even there is a 50 bips hike from RBI, 
uh, my borrowing will go near to 9.5 to 9.75. So technically, the book cost of fund is going to only drop. So I don't okay. think five star will raise any interest in next few quarters if the same trend is going to continue. So will you be able to control your credit costs to under 1% uh, because you know that is the expectation. Can you give us a guidance of what it could look like in FY24? The guidance what we give us, uh, our credit cost will be in somewhere between 1 to 1.25, uh, taking okay. the ETL provision into consideration because we are very conservative in provision. We carry close to 1.5 to 1.6% of the entire book as a provision. So okay, I think right. keeping that in mind, keeping yeah. that in mind, my guidance on provision will be around one to one point two five. Got it. And your NIMS, I just missed that number. What is the you know keeping in mind the cost of borrowing and uh, how much you're going to in increase rates as well? What should be the number you're working with? Uh, my spreads will be close to twelve percent in a steady state, oh. and my NIMS will be close to 13, 14 percent in steady state. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, we leave it on that note, Mr. Dean Dayal, and thank you. Very much for joining in. Well, while we were in that conversation, uh, China has gone ahead and uh, uh, selected uh, Mr. Uh, Xi Jinping as the president uh, for a third consecutive term. It's been a absolutely stellar rise and uh, complete holdover power that we have seen play out in China with, of course, term limits on the top office getting abolished in 2018. Uh, of course, largely unexpected lines, uh, nothing unusual for the market, but nonetheless, a uh, pretty historic move coming through. Uh, markets anyway, they